Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This is Fish from Blog number 38, and, and I thought I'd start off today's video with an update on this new box filter I put together. If you remember from that video, I had charged the second chamber with carbon, and I had dosed the aquarium with ammonium chloride as I had done in all the other tests. And this was in order to see if carbon will absorb the ammonia. And as you can see here, this is at the three day mark. It has not done so. And I'm going to run it for one more day, but I suspect there will be uh, no change in that. So I'm going to move on now to a bunch of plant updates. Uh, this is the Pallidarium, and as you can see, the Pothos is doing really well. I think it sent out uh, at least two new leaves, maybe three, and that's not really a surprise. Pothos will grow in almost anything. Uh, everything else is uh, growing a little bit more slowly, but that, again, is uh, not surprising because it does take time for them to set out roots and stuff. And as you can see, this chamber here, uh, the new pots I put in here, the pothos here, again, is setting up a nice new leaf and is doing really quite well. And you can actually start seeing some of the roots. I thought I'd pan down into the aquarium to see if there was any change really in the growth of these plants. Uh, I think they're all doing really well, but I uh, don't really see anything new except there's a new leaf there on the Anubius. But again, that could just have been one that came up anyway. The succulent cuttings I had put in here have yet to show any signs of rooting, uh, but the aluminum plant is actually beginning to do so, and as you can see, it's a little stuck here in the sponge. Uh, but again, uh, aluminum plant will grow quite well, and the succulents, again, are much slower growers. As you can see, the spider plant is doing really quite well too. It is uh, starting to send out a bunch of roots, and it is working on a whole new leaf. So it actually is doing better than I thought. I thought maybe it would be a little too uh, waterlogged in here for it, uh, but it is uh, thriving quite nicely. And as you can see, the other potted succulent I'd have there is also doing really quite well. So uh, these pots are actually turning out uh, really quite nicely. One of the things I noticed though, while I was looking at this here, and I'm gonna give you a clip here in a second, is this might be an indication that a little bit of that soil is finally leaching into uh, the aquarium a little bit because I find that this uh, high humidity planter has better growth now of all the java fern as you can see it's doing really quite well and the java moss as well is uh, starting to climb up the side so again it might actually be doing something so we'll have to keep an eye on that. I decided after all to uh, put a piece of plant in here uh, this is again one of the really simple little uh, planter filters we'll call it. Uh, it is just a tube obviously with a bit of air bubbling in it and I threw this in here uh, just to see how well this is going to root here. One thing it definitely has in its favor is very easy to set up and also it's going to be very easy to keep an eye on. The next clip I have coming up was prompted by a comment I got in a video I had done uh, quite some time ago now. It was when I was breaking up these planters from the first soil experiment and I was subdividing one of them and repotting it and the comment was why can't I just cut it like grass? My response at the time was, I'm not entirely sure you can cut vallisneri like grass and have it regrow. I suspect it will regrow, but the other thing is, it's just going to look really ugly and it'll end up ruining the effect. But this particular pot was in with uh, the goldfish when I was testing out to see how good they were at uh, getting rid of duckweed, and they're amazing. Uh, after they got rid of the duckweed, they moved on to the hornwort, and then after that, they started chewing on this. So it's not as you know devastated as the other two were, but it definitely was at a point where it was not really usable for me for uh, clients and that sort of stuff. So I figured it's perfect for this. So I've trimmed it down like grass, and I'm going to see how well this grows. And most importantly, I want to see if it ends up looking nice again in the end. So that's where that is going to be. So while I was on a Vallis and Area kick, I thought it was time I dealt with this. This is the soil part of the experiment for uh, the plant growth substrates. And as you can see, the Val in here is just taking over way too much. It's forcing the fish mostly to the front of the aquarium. And they're getting crowded to the point where they're not growing as well. And that is definitely a problem when you have like overgrown things like this. And it definitely needs to be pruned back. So I'm going to make up a couple of new pots. And I think from now on, what I'm going to do when I uh, pot up Valsinaria, and probably a few other rooting plants as well, is I am going to uh, stick with the soil and a little bit of gravel on top. I'm going to make them a little bit more shallow, and hopefully that will slow down the, the growth a little bit. Because even though this tank is not growing as uh, quickly, I find whenever I have planted aquariums, it's amazing how 
much work is involved in just dealing with uh, pruning and all that sort of stuff and replanting. That takes up the most time of pretty much any sort of fish related thing I do in my fish room. And this one here, I am going to uh, take those out, get rid of the uh, commercial substrate, and also replace those with soil and get that all straightened up as well. But that's uh, for a future time. And it's going to take me long enough just to get the valve straightened out, and uh, that's definitely enough for this moment. So this, this rack's actually doing really quite nice. I'm really happy with it, but there's an awful lot of pruning, as you can see, that needs to be done. And that's, uh, like I said, that's something I need to start getting to. Uh, before I end up with uh, having issues with the fish growth. So off camera, I replanted a bunch of other ones. Uh, I, there's just no point in showing you all of it. It just goes on forever. Uh, so this is that one pot that's in that one tank. And as you can see, it is growing very, very well. So I'm going to divide this up in the next little bit here. Uh, I'm going to repot this into, I think it ends up being uh, three pots. So... Uh, again, each of them are going to have a fair amount of plant material in it, uh, and that like, shows you how much is grown in this. It is doing uh, immensely well and way better than the other two. So uh, this is going to be kind of just uh, <laughs> unceremonious, let's say. It's just stick dirt in, stick plant in, uh, pack with gravel, and that's pretty much how I replant all these things. I don't go in and individually plant each stem or anything that along those lines. Uh, one thing I do though is once it's uh, packed like this is I'll take it and I'll rinse it in uh, water just so I don't end up with a big uh, clump of dirty soil getting tossed in there as well. So anyway, I, like, I'm really happy with the soil version of the planters and it's definitely something I'm going to keep doing. And I am planning, again, uh, to keep up and try new experiments with plants. Now, that's all coming up as well. Unfortunately, at the moment, I am <laughs> very deep into doing the ammonia tests, and that is taking up a fair amount of my time. Uh, I'm getting a lot of requests from people for uh, those and variations on it and nitrites and all sorts of stuff. I will try and get to as much as I can of it. Uh, it's obvious I can't do it all. I only have so many aquariums and uh, you know so much time to do each of these but I suspect as long as there's interest I will keep working at it and uh, we'll eventually get uh, through as many of the requests as possible so this is almost done now I am going to show you a couple clips of what they look in the aquariums and uh, that's pretty much it besides uh, an update on the baby angelfish growth so as always if you like this style of video please like and or subscribe and let me know in the comments below for things that you'd like to have coming up so there you go, much more room now. This is actually better. This is the way I like it. A nice green plant and lots of space for the fish. I put one up here in the Palliatarium to see how well it does here. Now this tank is obviously doing really quite well anyway, so uh, it was just interesting to see it as a comparison. I ended up taking three different clips actually this week for the Angel Fry Groat. I ended up taking them at different times during the week because I was gradually uh, doing water changes on this tank, trying to reduce the amount of green and obviously the Infusoria as well. Uh, they are now mostly on to uh, ground up fish food, microworms, and uh, newly hatched brine shrimp. But also one other thing I wanted to show you as I was filming these things is a rather odd thing that happened. I spotted this guy. This little fish is in the tank, which is to the right of the angelfish groat, and I have no idea how he got in here. He's fine. It's probably going to be a call anyway because he's not quite the right shape and everything. Uh, but I'm going to leave him in here. He's, uh, like I said, doing okay. And there's just literally no way that I can think of that he got in there. No water goes from the tank on the left into the one on the right. Uh, I don't add anything from one to the other. I do take out water from when I was doing the Infusoria from the one on the right and adding it into the one on the left. But like I said, he's too small to jump. I literally have no idea how he got in there, so I'm just going to leave him in there and see how he does. So this is getting, I think this is Saturday now, and as you can see, they're getting quite nice. A lot of them are starting to actually look like angelfish, and there's a few of them that I really like the structure for. Uh, the one by the heater uh, is actually really kind of cool. And like I said, they're growing out nicely, and uh, I'm very happy with this. Uh, this is, well, my first attempt really at growing angelfish, so... It's nice to see that they're doing so well, and I will get this tank hopefully clear by uh, next week because they're all big enough now just to move on to larger foods, so they don't really need the infusoria anymore anyway. 
But, on the other hand, uh, the angelfish have decided to breed again. So here they are with their eggs. This time I am going to leave them with their fry uh, exclusively. Leave them in there and see how well they do, how long they'll take care of them. Because they certainly have enough to raise for the moment, and I don't want to end up with uh, too many of them. So we'll see how they do on their own. So thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.